Hello everyone, my name is Azatru, how are you and welcome to another Star Wars Battlefront 2 news update video of mine and in this video I thought I'd discuss Gamescom a little bit, what you could expect to see and hear for Battlefront 2, Jedi Fallen Order, the Lego Star Wars game and discuss a few other things such as that fake 2021 release date that's been going around for Lego Star Wars and a few other things. So before I get into this, I just want to say that at the time of this video going live, I am probably in Germany. I've just traveled from the UK to Germany for Gamescom and I'm going to be there Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and I'll be leaving Friday morning. I will be covering all of the Star Wars gaming news from Battlefront 2 to Lego Star Wars if anything happens and of course Jedi Fallen Order. Plus I will be vlogging so hopefully you guys will enjoy that later next week. Also I'll be meeting some of the Battlefront 2 developers just like EA Play so if you have any questions or feedback to ask the developers but it's not about future content because they cannot answer it so don't ask if clone commandos are coming or ahsoka i just won't be able to ask them that they won't be able to give me an answer but if you have anything let me know down in the comment section below so i can share that with them okay so moving on to what we can expect to see and hear about these games at gamescom well battlefront 2 is not going to be on a live stream or anything like that. They're going to be dropping the biggest community transmission ever. Even bigger than the one we got in June. And you guys know that the one in June was massive. We got the TX-130 tank. We got the skins. We got Felucia announced. We got a whole host of things. We got so much stuff. And if this one's bigger, then I'm seriously excited. Fingers crossed there is some good stuff in like Clone Commandos, new heroes, a new planet, and hopefully more content in the forms of weapons and skins. We'll also be getting a roadmap update, I'm sure, because that's what will happen once they've announced this sort of content. They'll probably add more months to the roadmap. But other than that, I don't really know anything else that's going to be announced or what to expect. Moving on to Jedi Fallen Order, I'm going to assume there will be a trailer. It's not been confirmed yet. But I doubt there will be a gameplay demo, as EA have not promoted this event much. They've not mentioned Jedi Fallen Order is going to even be there. Even I don't know if it's going to be there as an EA game changer as such. So I assume there's going to be like a second story trailer, like one that we got at EA Play, but different locations, something like that. That's my guess, but again... I don't know when that's going to be. It could be Monday nights. That seems to be when all of the big announcements are going to be happening. Also, we don't know when Battlefront 2's community transmission is going to be dropping. Ben says they don't have a date locked down yet, but it won't be on Monday night, I believe. Moving on to LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. So, this game has been talked about by a lot of people and as I mentioned in a video a few weeks ago it looks very unlikely that this game will be at Gamescom. The confirmed studios and games at Gamescom do not include this game or Traveller's Tales and it looks increasingly unlikely that we'll hear anything about this game. I think they'll save it for D23 which is a few days later so later this week but who knows we just don't know yet. And I wanted to address something that I've seen people comment on my videos and tweet me about. Is the release date going to be the 31st of December 2020? No. This is what Amazon has as a placeholder. They do this for most games that don't have a release date. They set it to the last day of the release year. We know that it's coming in 2020. And no game ever has released on December 31st. No game releases after Christmas. No game releases... In the week of Christmas. It's usually if it does release in December the first week or so but it's definitely not coming at the end of next year because the Force Awakens game came out June 2016. This was just six months after the Force Awakens film came out so I'd expect it to be around June. Traveller's Tales usually release games in the summer because there is like no competition, there's no other games releasing in the summer so people like to buy Lego games in summer because there's nothing else to buy and that's why they do well. I would guess June, personally, that's when it's going to release. Maybe July, I doubt it though. That's just my educated guess. But it's not going to be December 31st, 2020. Do not listen to anyone that's saying that. It's just a placeholder. It happens for so many other games. Alright, so that's going to be all of the news for this video. I hope you enjoy this video. Be sure to drop a like if you enjoy it. Comment below your thoughts on anything I've discussed in this video. Be sure to subscribe if you are new around here and check out any of the two previous videos on the screen if you did miss them and I shall see you all in my next Star Wars Bathroom 2 video. Goodbye.